morning. Uh, my name is Stefan from Rensel, Africa. And in today's video, we're on our way to a site in Swellendam. So, uh, just to give you some basic background, back idea, we do SMA installations. We specialize in SMA. Um, and uh, this specific site uh, has got uh, started up with a grid down inverter. Eventually, we added some backup inverters. Uh, some sunny islands as a backup and now the site is be, is able to run off-grid in the daytime with just a little bank of batteries and solar which we'll explain to you as when we get there so the problem is this client has um, ESCOM supply which is very irregular um, they more off than they on there at the end of the line they're having tremendous issues with ESCOM so and this is for water pumps so it's three two three phase water pumps down there the wood they need constant water for the dairy and then obviously for the houses and everything so we're on our way there we're gonna have a look i'm just doing a checkup checking that everything's fine everything works well and then um, i'll give you a rundown of how the setup is built how the setup is put together and how it works so let's go look how it's doing then. Yeah, so we are heading out to the farm now. Uh, it's been about a two hours drive from me. Just hit the gravel roads. This is where the fun starts. Um, it's winter season now, out here in the Western Cape. Uh, rainy season also. Solar production is not as good. It's actually now June, July, August, half of what it is in January, December, and February. So completely different time of the year for solar production. Not the best, but also the farmers in the Western Cape actually use less power in winter, um, and um, because they don't irrigate as much, and also. Um, if you're on Ruraflex on ESCOM, your electricity is now in the mornings and afternoons three times as much as it is in the rest of the year. So even if the solar production is half, power is three times more expensive. So it actually makes really good sense. So money-wise, they're saving quite similar amounts than summer and winter. Great, so we eventually made it out here. Uh, I'll show you guys now a bit around. This is a three phase off grid system up in the mountains where we're driving pumps. So, you guys are looking at these small bank of batteries and you're thinking three phase pumps. So, what we do here, it initially started as just a backup system, it used to start just as a grid tie system. Then uh, later on, ESCOM became so unreliable we couldn't run just on ESCOM anymore and we put in three sunny islands and we're running a full off-grid system here but we only pump in the daytime so and how that was possible we got three sunny islands small bank of batteries just to get the sunny islands started then the grid die takes over so outside we've got a 10 and a 5 kilowatt three-phase boil pump which is about it draws about 15 kilowatts on VSD drives and then we've got 25 kilowatts of solar so from early morning to late afternoon we can run completely off grid um, generally there's more than enough solar available to do that um, yeah so this was done in stages first the grid tie system later on just as a backup system and now we've set it up to run completely off grid when needed to Here we've got this 25 kilowatts of PV panels, all to 50 watt. They were installed in 2015. 
um, they're working lovely on a ground mounted system you'll see the electric fencing so you worry wonder why there's electric fencing it's not actually for security but more to keep the baboons off because we are next to a big nature reserve um, and this whole area uh, is uh, there's a lot of wild animals around here so we're trying to keep with the fences the animals out and then the electric fences the baboons out